Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Airline UK Freakouts. Up first, in Luton, Leo's feeling the heat with one of the most culturally entitled people ever to feature on the series. This has happened before to me, right. on Ryanair, yep. once, and never ever before. Like Mr Egedius is travelling home to Zurich and he's carrying with him a rare viola. Uh, this is an instrument worth 150,000 uh -huh. pounds yep. and it could no way survive okay. the whole. Now safety is my number one priority, yeah. so what I'm saying to you is that we need to tag it. So the crew are fully aware that we've seen it here at check-in. Mm -hmm. What it will go into our fragile hold, which is at the front of the aircraft. Oh, but it's still downstairs, it's still not, uh, it it's still it cold. It can't go on board the aircraft with you. No, are you aware? It's mm -hmm. cold. Down. It might be worth £150,000, but Leo's not making an exception. Okay. It means if you want to put it down, mm -hmm. I want from you a signed statement okay. that you take full guarantee of the full when, value of okay. this. When we put your bag as a seat on it, that makes us liable for it. Yes, to a certain but to a certain extent, not the full £150,000. This is absolutely irre irreplaceable. Okay. Look at it, mm -hmm. please, sir. Okay. I must say, I've never had this problem. If I ever have this problem mm -hmm. with you, I will mm -hmm. not fly EasyJet okay. again and will make it public. Okay, what I'm, what I'm explaining no? to you... I want to show it to you. No. I want to show it. Okay, what you're that's doing. fine. Goodbye, welcome. I love the little look he gives the camera here before he flexes the viola on us. Okay, this is an instrument, Yeah. Uh, 200 years old, mm -hmm. one of its kind. Okay. Not the usual digit for denoting the number one, but he's minted, so I'll let it slide. Mentioned in a dictionary right. 100 years ago. Well, these facts are so irrelevant. We get it, mate. This 150 gram viola has a richer history than my entire bloodline. If you want to keep it warm on the flight, feel free to shove it up your ass. <laughs> Saying, I'm, I'm saying it, yeah. it's, it's not a case of it definitely can't go in the cabin, but it's something no. that we can't we can't ascertain until the aircraft lands and we can ascertain how yeah. many people have checked in and I can see how much the stuff in the crew holds. So what we will need to do is tag it as if we're going to put it into the hold and then I will come to the aircraft gate with you and okay. we'll be able to check with the crew. But you will okay. need to tag on it for the meantime. I've got other things to deal with at the moment. So yeah. if we can meet back here in about half an hour. Uh, can I have your name, please? Yeah, it's Leo. Leo. Yep. Thank okay, you. thank you. These people are trying to put it now in a hole and there is no question about it that the instrument would not survive it because it's too cold. That means they're actually trying to ascertain that this instrument uh, is dying and that's not possible, yeah? He really doesn't think a lot of these airline staff, does he? Just say what you really think of them. Not stupid exactly, but not academic by a long chalk. It's not that I'm better than this, it's just that I'm much cleverer than you need to be to work here. Sometimes in these freakouts, people need to realise that just saying please can go a long way. This next guy, however, might be overdoing it a little, and Supervisor Quasi a day is not having any of it. I can, I can just walk straight through. That's how no. I can get on. Will you please, no. please try and get me on this plane? I can't get you on it. Please. I can't. Why? I'm sorry, I can't. Why? The check-in is actually closed. I'm I can't. But I can go on board. I can be on it in two minutes. No. I can walk straight through. I've no, got everything. Not. Russell is travelling to Zurich to spend the weekend with his girlfriend, but he's been caught up in traffic and has missed check-in. I'm just begging no. you. I'm begging you, There's please. no need begging. There's no need begging because I'm not going to change my mind here. Please. You're not listening. No, I am listening. I'm, I am listening. I am listening you please? to you. Yeah, I, I am listening. Please, I haven't seen my girlfriend for three months, so the next one's not till one thirty. Please, just try. Oh, please. Um, he's tried. He's tried it, and the answer is no. And I'm telling you as well, the answer is no. So we have a scheduled line. I know you we, do. I know you do. I can get on it. I'm not. I'm not going to cause anything. No, I cannot get you on this flight other than getting on to the next one. Sir. Please, please, will you just there's, try for there's me? There's no point keep going on about it. Sir. I can't get you on this flight. Sorry. Please try. Please. Each year, EasyJet carries half a million children, but there can be complications, as one family is about to find out. Every airline has a different policy, and it does state on the terms and conditions when you booked on the internet that we wouldn't accept them when they arrived here. A 14-year-old cannot take responsibility well, for somebody under that. What are the ages of the children? Because it does state that in, in the terms and conditions on the internet. The Martinellis have booked their daughter and a family friend on a flight to Belfast, but at 13, the friend is too young to fly without an adult. Go have a look at the flight. 
flights for you. Supervisor Jana Wyatt can't let the 14-year-old take responsibility. Can you want happy to fly out and if you can get a plane back, if you'll pay for the seats because we cannot. We can't. Any... We can't pay for the seats. <laughs> this is a no-win situation. It, is it? it does say on the internet before you booked that this would happen. This is just pathetic. It's... Well, are you prepared to pay for the ticket? We're because not I'm not pay paying for the, for the ticket, damn ticket. No. no. Let me ring reservations and. I mean, this is a, this is a money-making exercise, isn't it? You want somebody to go and escort someone to come back again, and who pays for the ticket, for the extra ticket? I must pay for it. No. The 14-year-old's OK to travel, but she can't take responsibility for the 13-year-old. She has to be 16. So they came to check in. Um, it was booked over the internet, and obviously um, they hadn't read the terms and conditions. It does state in there that they can't travel. This is just... This is a, a rip-off. Back at the terminal, Russell's not giving up and Quasi's not giving in. Once the figure, um, the place Will like you please it. just try for me, please. No, I can't. You're not listening to me. I am listening. Once... I am listening. You don't understand how serious this is. I haven't seen my girlfriend for three months. That's all. I'm sorry. I, I know you're on sorry, it. but... I can't. Oh. I can't get you on this one. Oh. I'll get you on to the next one. This one's not till one o'clock. Sorry. Please try, please. No, you've please, been tried already please. and I can't keep trying. Oh, please. Please, it's will you just ask them, please? The, the answer is no. They've said no twice. They can't say no. Um, they can't keep saying no. Oh. I can't keep calling them. Please try for me. Please, yeah. I'm begging Sorry. you. I'll get on my knees in front of the camera. Oh, kinky! <laughs> no. It won't do me any, it won't do you any good. You get on, on your knees in front of this camera, it won't do you any good. No, I, I'm not worried about it. I just want to get to my girlfriend, mate. Please. Stop, Terry, I can't. Oh. If you go back to Theo, he'll transfer you on to the next one. Oh, no way. There's no way. Oh. Mr Bradley will have to accept that he will now have four hours less with his girlfriend. What can I do? I can't say, oh, um, you know, it, 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 you can't be, yeah, there's no favouritism here. We have a shade of airline. We have to go on time. Um, I've only got a hat. Well, I've got I've got luggage, but it could be hand luggage. They could have got me in the plane, as far as I'm concerned. Um, and they just decided that they weren't going to do it this morning. At Luton Airport, Jana is still trying to find a compromise for the Martinellis. Okay, how much is the Are uh, suggesting that I should go with them, well, at least one of them, the youngest one over to Belfast, which I should have done in any case. So I have to pay for a ticket to go across to Belfast and, uh, you know, come back merrily the same day. What is tomorrow morning? At, I'm off to France at 3 o'clock in the morning. I can sell you a seat for um, £100. Oh, that's, that's very that's, reasonable. That's the cheapest that we can, we can go. Mm, that's, that's a great, 50, that's 50 that's a great offer. Each way. I've already had to pay another 140 pounds on top of the original one. <laughs> when, whenever you sign a contract, do you, do you not read it before you sign it? I've dealt with many contracts and contractors. It's never fair on, on either party, and there is always a compromise somewhere. And right, my which compromise is, which is, is what I'm trying to do. I well, cannot, I cannot give you a seat free. So how are we going to get back from Ireland, though, to England? How, who's going to travel with us then? Somebody will need to... <laughs> so another, another, another ticket for some... Rip off. Or travel Absolute here with them. Thieves. Realising he has no other choice, Mr Martinelli pays the £100. Here we are, sir. Right, go straight through to gate 11, please. Uh, gate 11. Bye. Bye, have a lovely one. I'll send you a postcard, eh? I know it says in the terms and conditions, but I do feel for the Martinellis here. When they booked online, there really should have been some kind of warning pop-up saying there needs to be an adult to fly with the children in the booking. Several hundred pounds is such a big price to pay for just not checking the terms and conditions. Back in Luton, the Zurich flight is now boarding and Leo is nowhere to be seen, so it looks like Mr Egidius is going to have to win the battle one last time. No, you can't say that. If you untangle it, you just go to the whole of the aircraft. No, 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 it's half going to aircraft. Can I talk to the, to the chat? No, no, that's why it's had you a know, tag Yes, on exactly. It. That's why I talk to them. And they no. said you have to. I have to talk to you, and then I can talk to the. Captain. No, but if you have a tag put on the bag, then it has to go into the hold of the aircraft. That's why it's being tagged. Okay, it then goes as carried on this, this, and this goes into the. No, hold. no, no, no. That, that is the item. That's no. If you're not willing to put that in, then you won't fly. Yes. That is. That has been uh, had a tag on it. Please speak to the captain. 
You can, can speak, speak to the He'll tell you the same thing. Yes, can I ask him? No, you don't have to ask the captain. But You've been told to check him. him. Right, if you want to wait one side, why check the other passengers in? At the moment, I can't... Uh, yeah, I know, I understand. We're full <laughs> of very difficult thing at the time. But this is a musical instrument. In case you didn't know, it's worth £150,000, it's 200 years old, and it was mentioned in a dictionary 100 years ago. It's one of a kind. Yeah, it gets put it's into because, the fragile hold of the aircraft. Because of the hole, it's the cold. It dies. You mean it dies? It's only an instrument, it's, sir. No, it's a wood. It's a viola. So, okay, there. can I speak to that? Captain. You can speak, you speak to the captain okay. or you can speak to the dispatcher. I want to just do it very friendly, Thank you. yeah? Make it your final okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Out on the tarmac, he walks straight past dispatchers, the captain and the crew. With his one-of-a-kind viola stowed safely overhead, no one can ask any questions because he is apparently asleep. Outstanding move. Swiss Viola Man 1, Easy Jet nil. Well, that's all we have time for today. If you want to be notified of the next episode, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. As always, I'll leave my links to my Twitter and Instagram down below, and if I'm not at my follower limit, I'll follow you guys back. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.